Hi Aries, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of September 5th through to about the 11th, 2022. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So guys, I would like to say welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. Also, you can now join the channel. So please become a member. That link is listed down below. All right. So we do have the Ten of Wands, Oppression, and the Five of Cups, Loss in Pleasure in this deck. Interesting combination. I'm not sure if Capricorn Capricorn or maybe one of the earth signs might have actually had this combination. Okay, we have death and we have the queen of cups. So that's quite an interesting combination. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Let's see what else we get. What does Aries have coming up for this week, please? Aries. And also, guys, all the decks I am using, those links are listed down below along with my Amazon shop. Also, my, my link for my decks, I just came out with a couple of new decks. That link is listed down below. If you're interested in purchasing a private reading, that is also down below. We have the hanged man. Now, if not a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Pisces. You have the world. You have the three of wands. King of Wands and the Four of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Nine of Pentacles, which is an independent energy. Some of you Aries, you could be rejecting someone. Of course, it can always be the other way around. Some of you may feel rejected. It's definitely a very specific read. For some of you, you know, maybe you were interested in someone and they could have rejected you and made you feel like you were not good enough. Um, for some of you, that's, that's what this is. This person may sit in a position of power or they may have some sort of um, title uh, maybe they're a business owner you have the nine of pentacles you have the princess of pentacles which is the page of pentacles all right you have the wheel of fortune with the knight of cups you have the star. Look at this. Healing energy. Wow. The four of wands. So, you know, if, if things are not going well for some of you on the love front, there's love that's coming in. Yes, for some of you, it could be down the road a little bit. You do have to be patient. Don't get discouraged, though. You know, if something doesn't work out, you know, the way that you were hoping, it's because the universe has, you know, another, another path for you. You know, there's someone better that's coming in. 
have faith, trust in divine timing. Now, this person may be, for some of you, they may be an earth sign, they may be a business owner, but they don't have to be. They may be at a distance. So maybe they're going to move to your area or something like that. They may be very different from you. Yeah, there's definitely distance here. Now, those of you that are partnered, it could be that you're away from your partner. That could be due to work. Yeah, some of you are definitely feeling alone. There's a longing here, so wanting change. So longing for change. Waiting, waiting to start the next chapter. Waiting, and so some of you, honestly, not gonna lie, some of you are bored. This is being bored, Aries, with the status quo. It's the Four of Cups. Cancerian energy, very moody energy. For some of you, there could be an offer. There could be something on offer. There could be a possibility in front of you and you're not seeing it. And it could be because you're, some of you may be still too focused on the past. That's some of you, not all of you. With this energy, Hanged Man, Four of Cups, you're taking a moment. I think that's a good thing. Mercury's going retrograde on the 10th. There's a full moon coming up. Take a moment. I do see a chapter, a cycle. I do see something wrapping up in your life here. It's just going to be a moment. It is not going to happen overnight, but there is a cycle completion here. You have some tens. You have death. You have the world. Something is done. I feel like it's, it's, for some of you, it's a tough time. You may have experienced some loss. You may have been oppressed. There's been some difficulty with growth. There's been some difficulty. But I still see that you're very passionate. And, you know, it's a matter of divine timing, really. It really is a matter of divine timing. Some of you, you know, there could be lessons that you're still learning. Or, you know, if you're dealing with another person, it could be them that's learning a lesson. But just take a moment... And maybe, you know, maybe just enjoy where you are. Be grateful for all that you have in your life at this time. Try to see things maybe from a different perspective. Maybe some of you feel like you've sacrificed too much in a situation. And now you're just left unhappy. Unhappy bored, depressed, unhappy. Not happy with the way something is. Some of you are, are at a distance from your person. So this could be a long distance relationship for some of you Aries. And you miss them. You wish that things could be different. Others, I mean, this could be an ex. You know, maybe you want to get back together with someone. You have the Queen of Cups, you have the King of Wands. For some of you, this is definitely a Scorpio who's significant. 
some of you, you could be starting something new at this time or in the near future. It could be something on the side. So if you're a business owner or you already have your career, this could be something on the side that you're going to be starting. And this little maybe side hustle, side business could actually bring in a little bit of money, but it's going to make you happy. And that at this time may be more important. It's going to, it's going to satisfy you. Um, emotionally it's gonna make you happy maybe some of you have to let something go so something else can be born you got to take it how it resonates But yeah, I mean, that could be what this is, is that you're you're not happy with the status quo, and so you're definitely going to be starting something new on the side, and it may be something very little. Maybe you're going to learn something new. You could learn a new trade or, or learn a new hobby or skill, and then maybe you're going to make a little side business from that or something like that. And it may not even bring you that much money uh, at first. It may just make you happy. You just enjoy doing it. And I feel like that's that's good. Oh, look at that. We have study. We have study at the bottom of the deck. Spiritual growth, signs, and then new love. So yeah, I mean... Those of you that are waiting on a particular person, you may have sacrificed too much time, energy. Some of you are waiting on someone and this is over with. Some of you, I would not recommend waiting for anybody. If you know that this person loves you and is going to be with you, then if you want to wait on somebody, then, then wait on them. But if... The odds are, if this is an ex, if it didn't work out prior, you know, if you're unsure about this person, I personally would not recommend waiting on anybody. Don't put your life on hold for anybody because you're missing out and precious time is going by that you will never get back. And life is too short as it is, so why are you waiting on someone? Which you're in Aries. I normally would not say that to Aries. But you do have new love. But we also have study here. So this could be a new passion. A new hobby. Like I already mentioned. It may actually make you money down the, the road. But you may just really. Really feel fulfilled from this. You may just be happy doing it. You are actually going through. A spiritual for some of you this could be an awakening with this combination but there's spiritual growth here you are maybe seeing signs as far as what you should do next seeing signs that maybe you are meant to learn this this new this new skill others with death being here and um, signs there could be someone that has passed that is around you and you may actually see signs right now. So, you know, if you find something, if something happens this week, just know that that is definitely a message from up above. And I think it's to live your life. If you're not happy, you have to do something about that. I wouldn't make any drastic moves here at this time but you can still take those steps you can still you know do other things let's see what sign you're dealing with or signs that you're dealing with Aries Aquarius and Scorpio Scorpio is definitely coming through 
All right, guys, I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. If you're interested in having a private reading, all of my information is listed down below. All right, guys, have a